book that was being recorded with the whole yeah. <laughs> All right, what time is that? It's 10 31, so I guess we should. All right, I'm going to check in with him, make sure. Good morning, everybody. I invite you to please find your seats and welcome to Salem Lutheran Church on this beautiful Sunday morning. And beautiful, I think, is in the eye of the beholder. But as one who really is excited for a snowy Christmas, um, when the time comes, I think this is beautiful. Although um, I know the roads can be a little treacherous, especially for the first snow or two with the wind and ice. So it's good to see everyone here in person and a welcome to those of you who are on Zoom. And today is a special day of this second Sunday in Advent. Today is Salem Choir's Adventacular, where our choir will bless us with a few extra hymns. So we will have three songs from our choir spread throughout the service, and we are in for a treat at that. 
A special welcome to Emily Stoll, our Luther Seminary um, CPL Christian Public Leader student. She will be leading us in our worship uh, liturgy today. And please continue to send good wishes and prayers out um, for our intern Menzi, who continues to be ill, but will be back in full swing beginning this week. So um, he's doing fine, but is not able to be with us today again. Yeah. The last announcement is, hopefully you saw this in all the different ways we communicate, plus the table out there, but we are, like last year, collecting gift cards for Christmas bags to hand out to our community. This year we are collecting gift cards to any kind of store that sells gifts. We kind of specialize Target and Walmart and the like, but anything close to that is wonderful in $20 increments, and please bring those by the 15th of December at the latest, because the bag distribution is on the 18th. There's a flyer that you can take with you out in the narthex there. There's a basket to put the gift cards in. If you've already brought some, you can also drop them in the offering plate or hand them to me. I will promise they will go where they need to go. And there's also a sign up to help assemble the bags on Friday night, the 17th or hand out the bags and celebrate with some good cheer and music and hot cocoa on the 18th. So check all that out in the narthex or ask me or Rachel Carmichael for more information. So I mentioned the choir, but I wanted to maybe give the choir a little bit more love. Can we give uh, the choir a little round of applause and love today? Yes. I always feel weird when I invite that kind of thing for something that I'm part of. So I uh, am part of the choir, so thank you. Um, and also a thank you to Kirsten Hoffer for leading us in our psalm later in worship as well. Okay. In the name of uh, our Adventacular today, if you encounter music, I invite you to, if it's a choir piece, to watch or close your eyes and sink all the way in and if it is a sung piece please sing extra boldly today as we will be providing the warmth and the spirit and the word for this worship together in song we'll start now with our gathering song hymn number 254 in your red hymnal <laughs> the second can candle of Advent. We seek your comfort, both mighty and tender, you come. Prepare our hearts to be transformed by you. Please join us in O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, ELW 257.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. pray. Stir up our hearts, Lord God, to prepare the way of your only Son. By his coming, give to all the people of the world knowledge of your salvation through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now we invite you to sit back and enjoy um, the first uh, performance of our choir.
Our first reading today is from Malachi 3, verses 1 through 4. Well, pay attention. I am sending my messenger to prepare the way for me. The one you seek will suddenly come to the temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you long for will come, says Yahweh, omnipotent. But who can endure the day of that coming? Who can stand firm when that one appears? That day will be like a smelter's fire, a launderer's soap. The one will preside as refiner and purifier, purifying the children of Levi, refining them like gold and silver. Then they will once again make offerings to Yahweh in righteousness. Then the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to Yahweh as they were in former days, in years long past. And I will continue by singing our song together responsibly. Listen for the piano to kind of sing the non vocal parts, and we will sing the bolded parts together. first reading comes from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, the third chapter. 
Glory to you, O Lord. As I read this, we'll pay attention and imagine this man, John, later, crying out, shouting. In the 50th year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea and Herod was ruler of Galilee and his brother Philip ruler of the region of Ituria and Trachonitis and Lysanias ruler of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went out into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, quote, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You may be seated. So there's not really a whole sermon today, so I hope you listen to the scripture. There's merely an invitation to reflect. Today, our good word this salvation, this appearing of God in flesh that we are anticipating and preparing for in the season of Advent, we are making it real among us today as we gather, as we sing, as we encounter beautiful music. So I ask you, how are you going to prepare the way of the Lord? Will you create something beautiful and put it out into the world in a way that fundamentally changes something about the vibrations and frequency of creation, that invites people deeper into relationship? Are you going to speak out for something that maybe you've been thinking for a little while but haven't quite had the gumption to say something boldly about? Or are you going to turn into silence and prayer and the Psalms more deeply to prepare not just the world, but your own heart for the arrival of our Lord. How will you prepare a way for the Lord? How will you help make the valleys level and prepare a road and straighten things out before in anticipation of the arrival of God? How will you help yourself and this whole dang world of ours see the flesh of God before the arrival on Christmas. Amen. Now I'll invite, I was serious, there was not a real sermon. So now I invite the choir forward to continue to share the word with another anthem.
And now the prayers of intercession. In this season of watching and waiting, let us pray for all people and places that yearn for God's presence. You send messengers like John the baptizer into the world to proclaim the day of your coming. Make our bishops, pastors, deacons, and lay preachers confident in their preaching, that their words and our lives witness to your grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Send your spirit to all living creatures that are endangered. Provide them with shelter and care and bring us into right relationship with the earth that you create and call good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Send leaders to our nations, cities, schools, and businesses to work on behalf of those who have lost parents, spouses, and loved ones, immigrants, the imprisoned, those living in poverty, and all who are oppressed. Make them bold in their commitments to justice and reconciliation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Send your servants to care for those who suffer, Use our ministries and our lives to reach out with compassion to those who are hungry, oppressed, lonely, or ill, especially Marion, Dawn, Sharon, Sonia, Mieta, Shelley, Milt, everyone in our Salem community in need of prayer, and all those people we lift up before you now silently in our hearts or spoken aloud at this time. Grant them healing and wholeness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Send prophets to speak difficult truths, even when they are poorly received. Embolden those who ask hard questions and challenge accepted ways. Instill in youth and elders alike a passion for pointing to Jesus in all things. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember your saints, both those publicly celebrated and those more humbly remembered. Confident that your work will be completed, we live in faith until the day of your coming. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of new life, you come among us in the places we least expect. Receive these prayers and those of our hearts. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Please share a sign of peace with one another. Too many facial accessories.
God of all creation, all you have made is good, and your love endures forever. You bring forth fruit from the earth and fruit from the vine. Nourish us with these gifts, that we might be for the world signs of your gracious presence in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, broke it and gave thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Then again, after supper, he took the cup, blessed it and gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. For as often as we eat of this bread and drink from this cup, we proclaim the mystery of the Lord's death until he comes again. And now gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray our Lord's prayer together in whatever version you are most comfortable or following the words on the page. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. As usual, we will be communing by coming forward via the center aisle, um, trusting yourselves to keep a little bit of distance as you are able, keeping your mask on until you get to the front where you will receive a small wafer. If there's a gluten-free option, let us know. And then a small glass of either white grape juice or red wine. After you consume both elements, please place the small glass in the basket in the front with a towel in it, and then go back to your seats via the outside aisle so as to not disturb the microphone and setup we have over on this side. Okay, all the while there will be some music. If, you, if it's a song with some lyrics, join on in. Otherwise, the table is prepared. All are welcome. Yeah, 
And now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Amen. Come forward here. You hold this one and I'll put this one in. We give you thanks, almighty God, that you have refreshed us through the healing power of this gift of life. In your mercy, strengthen us through this gift in faith toward you and in fervent love toward one another. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. amen. Now we'll have one more choir anthem and one more all together song. So let's close it out with some wonderful music. <laughs> 